Okay, so welcome to lecture number three. And uh, today we'll talk about uh, various types of control systems. Yesterday's lecture, we talked about uh, the introduction of this uh, control system and then uh, uh, what is the prerequisite. And then after that, we talked about the uh, history of the control system and also several definitions which are really useful uh, for studying the control system that we have studied in yesterday's talk. So today we'll be talking about the different types of control systems which are there and what is the difference between all those uh, control systems. Uh, you know that uh, the simple uh, difference between, okay, uh, there are two types of control system. One is natural control system and another one is man-made control system. So in natural control system, you know the example, uh, very well, well known example is the universe. Universe is also a control system, okay, which is natural control system. So everything is placed at right time and then it uh, everything happens automatically in the universe, okay. So we can consider that as a natural control system. Human body is also a natural control system and, uh, uh, okay, uh, because uh, uh, it's not made by the human or something like that. Uh, so it is a natural control system and it is a closed loop control system particularly, uh, right? Whereas in man-made uh, control system, uh, human has designed that control system and, um, okay, so uh, that is, uh, okay, that kind of control systems are called as the man-made control system, like for example, design of vehicles which requires a control system, design of uh, uh, elect uh, electric equipments or controllers and so on so there are or aeroplane so all those are the man-made control systems whereas the control systems which are there naturally they are called as the natural control system so example of natural control system is universe and human body whereas the example of man-made control system is vehicle or aeroplane and so on right now uh, another thing is that uh, what is the difference between the manual control system and automatic control systems so uh, in manual control system, basically, there is an intervention of the human being to control some parameter. Like, for example, we have a uh, this one, um, uh, this one, a fan. Okay, so to change the uh, fan speed, we have to change the knob. So man, uh, human has to go there and change the uh, regular position, and then according to uh, according to the regular position, uh, current will change, and then fan speed will also change. So to change the speed, we uh, okay, human being is intervening intervening there, and so on, or uh, room temperature regulation via electric fan. Okay, whereas water level controller also. So suppose for example, this man is there, and who is changing the water level by changing the wall position. So this control system can be considered as a manual control system uh, and so on. But the automatic control system is the control system where there is no intervention of the human being. Automatically, once you set the things, automatically it will be controlled and so on. So room temperature regulation via AC. Like for example, if I set the temperature of my room um, as okay of AC uh, as a 23 degree Celsius, then in that room automatically that AC will maintain the temperature of 23 degree Celsius. There is no need to change that uh, temperature and so on. Or even human body temperature uh, control is also there. So which uh, okay uh, is the example of automatic control system. So. A manual control system where basically there is an intervention of the human being to control the um, uh, this one uh, control variable whereas here in an automatic control system uh, there is no need of human intervention for controlling the parameter or something like that so this is the difference between the manual and automatic control system now uh, whether it is a uh, manual control system or open loop, uh, this one, uh, automatic control system, all those control systems are further classified into open loop control system and closed loop control system. Okay. So in open loop control system, basically there is no feedback. Okay. See the example. This is the block diagram of open loop control system. You have the input and then input is given to the controller. Like for example, uh, I'd like to 
set the uh, temperature of that boiler equal to uh, 100 degrees celsius so here uh, this set point is given and then controller will take the action according to the uh, set point and after that the output of controller is given to the process or plant and then this plant um, uh, like boiler temperature will be maintained as a uh, 100 degrees celsius or like that but actually whether this temperature is 100 degrees celsius or not that is not major or there is no feedback uh, involved in this one so this is the open loop uh, system this there is no feedback uh, in the system so it utilizes a controller or con um, control actuator to obtain the desired response so output has no effect on the control action like uh, no feedback or no correction of disturbances is there like for example if there is a disturbance and then you are not getting the act output like as the desired one there is no corrective action or like that so uh, the simple thing is that uh, there is no uh, feedback involved in the open loop control system uh, so whatever the set parameter is there controller will take action and then output of the controller is given to the process or plant and then plant uh, you'll get the regulated output but you have to just believe okay that you are getting the desired output if you measure actual output then it may be different than the set point or something like that it depends upon the control action and also the plant or external disturbances and so on so uh, best example of that one is washing machine like for example in washing machine uh, we okay uh, wash the clothes but uh, whether we check that okay really uh, the cleanliness of the cloth or something like that no we set uh, the machine like for example uh, on uh, for 28 uh, minute or 23 minutes or 59 minutes something so there are some cycles cycle one cycle two cycle three and so on for light load or uh, okay medium load or heavy load or something like that uh, but actually that machine is uh, okay uh, cleaning the clothes we are not checking okay whether really clothes are clean or not so there is no feedback in the output see our major basically our expected output is that our clothes should be cleaned uh, okay whether we are measuring cleanliness of the clothes in the machine no so this is the open loop control system or even uh, like for example uh, your uh, this one traffic light so traffic light uh, you know that uh, in the traffic light um, uh, uh, this traffic light uh, is uh, based on the open loop system means it okay it is uh, it will be red uh, signal for uh, two minutes or 60 seconds then green signal for one minute and something like that so whether there is a traffic or not this um, uh, signals will be okay automatically done but uh, they they are not sensing that there is a traffic or not so there is no feedback basically involved in that so traffic controller is also a open loop control system washing machine is also a uh, uh, open loop control or even your electric fan okay uh, is also a open loop control system because we are uh, okay we are uh, not measuring the speed or basically temperature how much it is maintained by the electric fan or something like that uh, so there is no feedback involved in that or even toaster also so you can find you can think over it how many examples are there as an open loop control system we'll see the main difference between the open loop control system and closed loop control system later on but try okay first we'll try to understand what is meant by open loop control system and then what is meant by closed loop control system then we will see one to one difference between the open loop control system and closed loop control system so i hope that you have understood uh, the concept of open loop means where there is no feedback involved that kind of control system is called as a open loop control system right so since in an open loop control system reference input is not compared with the measured output means there is no feedback uh, involved so for each reference input there is a fixed operating condition like once you set the point uh, that according to that controller will take action so therefore the accuracy of the system depends upon the calibration in the open loop control system if your uh, controller is calibrated properly then there are chances that you'll get the accurate result but if it is not properly calibrated uh, then your uh, output may be wrong or it may uh, give some error and some, something like that so the performance of an open loop the performance of open loop system is severely affected by the presence of disturbances or variation in operating or environmental condition means if there is a disturbance whether it is an internal disturbance or external disturbance your output of open loop control system will change 
see that means here output of open robot control will change depend okay on the uh, disturbance or even if the um, equipments which are used for designing the control system uh, open loop control system if then uh, this will depend upon the set point and there is no comparison uh, with the output and so on right then second uh, uh, this one uh, uh, type of control system is closed loop control system so in closed loop control system feedback is there involved see that your set point is there input is there or this is called as the reference input and then uh, the output that is controlled variable basically or uh, is sensed by using the uh, sensor or feedback element and then this output uh, is basically compared with the input by using comparator so now how many how many blocks are added here earlier in open loop control system this comparator was not there this feedback element or measuring element was not there only controller and process was there so there are two um, blocks which are added in the uh, this one closed loop control system that is comparator the role of comparator is basically to compare the reference like for example if i set the temperature of boiler equal to 100 degrees celsius now my temperature sensor will measure the temperature of that boiler whether it is attained whether it is attaining the 100 degrees celsius or not if yes then uh, this output will be also 100 degrees celsius this reference is also 100 degrees celsius so 100 minus 100 that is zero so input to this controller will be zero and then controller will stop the this one and then uh, output will be maintained as 100 degrees celsius but suppose for example you have set 100 degrees celsius as a reference of this one and actual boiler temperature is 80 degrees celsius so this will measure as 80 degrees celsius and then this is 100 degrees celsius so 100 minus 80 so there is a difference of 20 degrees celsius so according to that difference controller will take action and this action will be given as an input to the process or plant and then the temperature of that plant uh, or boiler will be increased up to 100 degrees celsius means here we are sensing the output and according to that output uh, okay according to the desired value we are maintaining that one but in case of open loop control system this measurement was not there and then we were not actually knowing whether output is according to the reference one or not but here feedback element is there which measures the output right and then it is compared with the reference one with the help of comparator and the output of this comparator is nothing but the error signal see that this is the reference one and this is the actual one so reference minus actual is nothing but the error signal so according to the error like for example if error is large output of controller will be large if error is small output of controller will be small something okay like that so uh, this error according to the error signal controller will take action and this is nothing but the control basically output of control uh, this one uh, controller which is given as an input to the uh, this one uh, process or plant and then according to that output uh, that is controlled signal will be there at the output side okay so uh, main difference between the open loop control system and closed loop control system is that uh, in case of closed loop control system there is a feedback element element involved whereas in open loop control system there is no feedback so this utilizes the feedback uh, to compare the actual output to the desired output response right now uh, see that another thing is that uh, what is the okay whether accuracy of closed loop control system will be more or open loop control system will be more definitely the accuracy of closed loop control system will be more because okay you are measuring the output and you are checking the output whether you are reaching to the desired value or not if not according to that there will be action will be taken and so on another thing is that so for example there is that in, uh, external disturbances is there now external because of external disturbance or internal disturbance your output will change so even if your output changes because of disturbance this will be fed back to the input uh, comparator and then comparator will compare this one and then that error will be modified and then controller will take action according to that so what we can say here in a closed loop control system okay uh, even if there is a noise or disturbances whether it is an internal disturbance or external disturbances output will not change or corrective action will be taken so third thing is that here the calibration 
So for example, if it is okay, your um, uh, equipments are not calibrated. Even if it is not calibrated, your output will be measured, and according to that one, action will be taken. So calibration will not play much role here uh, in case of uh, closed loop control system because you are taking the action according to the output and so on. Fourth thing is that. If you compare with the uh, open loop control system, we are going to see one-to-one -one difference between this open loop control system and closed loop control system. Uh, see that number of blocks here are more in case of closed loop control system, whereas in open loop control system, there are only two blocks, that is controller and the process. So designing of open loop control system is easy as compared to designing of closed loop control system because this involves many blocks, right? And that definitely the cost of this control, closed loop control system will be more as compared to the cost of uh, open loop control system. So uh, these are the differences between the open loop control system and closed loop control system. We'll see, as I said, that we'll see one to one difference. But let me talk about MIMO system means what and what is by SISO. Now see that this is called as the SISO. SISO means single input, single output. S means single, single input is there and a single output is there. So this kind of system is called as the single input, single output system, SISO system. But can you use a same controller and process, okay, plant to control several variables? Like for example, in process industries, you would like to uh, uh, control the temperature, you'd like to control the viscosity, you'd like to control the humidity, you'd like to control the press, uh, uh, pressure and so on. So all those parameters you can you control with the help of single uh, controller by using time division multiplexing or something like that highly possible okay it is highly possible to okay use same hardware for controlling several parameter now see that one output is for temperature another output is for viscosity third output is for pressure and so on but controller hardware is same so in MIMO, basically, there is a multiple input and a multiple output, but hardware is same. So this is the optimization of the hardware. Okay, so you can reduce the cost instead of designing separate controller for temperature, separate controller for humidity, separate controller for pressure. Is it possible to have a single hardware and which will okay? Uh, basically control multiple parameters so it is highly possible and that kind of system is called as a multi input multi output system means where multiple inputs are there that is temperature humidity pressure or fluid flow and so on and output are also multiple so definitely you have to use different uh, this one uh, measuring device like for example for sensing the temperature we need a temperature sensor for uh, uh, um, sensing the humidity, you need a humidity sensor or pressure sensor and so on. So these sensors will be there and then that sensors will give the output and this output will be compared with the um, uh, reference one with the help of same comparator. And then output of that one will be given to the controller. Control will take action and then uh, it will con okay control the uh, desired output and so on. So MIMO is nothing but multi-input, multi-output system. Advantage is that we are using same hardware, so which will reduce the cost instead of okay um, this one dedicated system for controlling uh, every parameter. We are using the same system for controlling the multiple parameters. So this is the difference between SISO and MIMO, right? Now, what is by feedback control system? So basically, there is a feedback. Okay, so this is nothing but the closed loop control system. So feedback control system is a system that maintains the prescribed relation between the output and some reference input by comparing them and using the difference. This error, see this is comparator, which okay, which will measure the reference input and the actual output. So actual output is this one. So uh, from reference, this actual output will be uh, subtracted and whatever the error you get, Okay, this will be given as an input to the controller. Controller will take action according to the magnitude of error. And then after that, output of controller is given to the plant and then you will get the uh, desired output or controlled variable or controlled signal and so on, right? So this is the feedback control system, which is also called as a closed loop control system, right? Now, we'll see one-to-one -one difference between the open loop and closed loop control system. So block diagram, as I said, that there are only two blocks in a case of open loop control system, that is controller and 
plant or process right here input is given standard reference input is given as an input to the controller whereas the output you will get at the process or like that but in case of closed loop control system uh, there is a comparator and as well as feedback element which is added in the uh, open loop control system so this output is paid back to the input so from the block diagram point of view this is the first difference between the open loop control system and uh, closed loop control system second second difference between the open loop control system and closed loop control system is that in case of open loop control system controlling action is totally independent of the output see that this controlling action is it measuring the output no so it is totally independent of the output whereas in a case of feedback control system or closed loop control system this controlling action depends upon the output like for example if your desired temperature uh, reference temperature is 100 and desired okay actual temperature you got 100 so this 100 is there and this is also 100 so 100 minus 100 error will be zero your controller output will not take action because your output has reached to the desired value but if this is 100 and this is 50 so there is a lot of difference so this difference will be 100 minus 50 that is error is of 50 degrees celsius so controller will take large action and then output will be given to the process uh, controller output will be given to the plant and then your plant will be controlled so this controller action depends upon the output in case of closed loop system whereas in case of open loop system controller action does not depend on the input so this is the second difference between the open loop control system and the closed loop control system third third difference is that in open loop such systems are very simple in construction and design because you have only two blocks okay one is controller another one is plant right whereas in case of closed loop control as i said that there is a comparator there is a controller there is a plant and there is a feedback element or measuring element so uh, it is a bit complicated as compared to the open loop control system so closed loop control systems are complicated and time consuming from design point of view okay definitely the fourth difference in a case of open loop control system and closed loop control system is that since hardware is less in a case of open loop so it will be economical so cost will be less uh, in open loop control system whereas in a case of uh, closed loop control system hardware is increased so definitely cost it will be more costly as compared to the open loop control system then fifth difference is that open loop systems are inaccurate okay and unreliable because accuracy of such, such systems are totally dependent on the accurate pre-calibration of the controller see that the pre-calibration of controller if it is not properly calibrated then output will never reach to a desired value it will give always error but here even if there is a control this is not calibrated if your output is not desired value so it will basically you'll get the feedback and according to that error will be generated and then your output will be corrected so Calibration plays a very important role in a case of open loop control system. So such systems are inaccurate and unreliable because accuracy of such systems are totally dependent on the accurate pre-calibration of the controller. Whereas in a case of closed loop control system, accuracy is always high because controller modifies and manipulates the accurate signal such that error of error in the system will be zero so error will be always zero in case of closed loop control system but here uh, there is no measurement of output uh, with the reference input so we uh, uh, there may be chances that your output we may have an error then sixth difference between the open loop control system and closed loop control system is that here the output changes with the internal and external differences disturbances see that as I told you that if there is internal disturbance here in open loop or there are some external disturbances, so because of external or, or internal difference, uh, disturbances, your output may change and this change output is not compared. So your output will be always wrong or uh, there may be always error because of external differences. But here in case of closed loop control system, if there is internal differences, uh, disturbances in controller or in process or external difference, uh, disturbances are there, because of that disturbances output may change and then this change output will be fed back immediately uh, with the help of feedback element and then it will be compared with the 
reference and then according to that error signal will be generated and then according to error signal this controller will take action and then output will be controlled so even if there is an external difference uh, disturbances or internal disturbances output will be always equal to the desired value but this things does not happen in case of open loop control system so output changes with internal and external disturbances whereas in case of closed loop control system output doesn't change with internal and external different uh, disturbances right then the seventh difference is that uh, if you want that open loop system should be more accurate so time to time calibration is very very essential in uh, uh, in case of open loop control system so to maintain the quality and the accuracy time to time calibration of controller is necessary in case of open loop control system whereas this time to time calibration in case of closed loop control system is not required okay because even if there is change in output it will be taken care of whereas here if the output is wrong it will not be taken care of because of um, okay if calibration is not done or like that then eighth difference it is the difference between open loop control system and closed loop control system is that these systems open loop systems are generally troubled with the problems of instability okay so these systems are generally troubled with the problems of instability whereas here in a case of closed loop control system there is a tendency to over correct the error and may cause the instability so there may be instability in closed loop control system as well as there may be instability in the open loop system but this is because of what these systems are generally troubled with the problems of instability but this is because of over correctness of the error uh, it may cause instability generally closed loop systems are stable but because of the tendency of over correcting the error that may cause the instability in a closed loop control system right then example of uh, open loop control system is that washing machine is one of the example then traffic control is another example okay and uh, then uh, even your electric iron okay uh, is uh, open loop control system or closed loop control system so it will basically measure the temperature right so if that temperature is reached to of that electric iron automatically it will be switched on or switched off so that is a closed loop control system electric uh, iron is also a closed loop system uh, whereas uh, temperature controller uh, uh, or uh, this uh, air conditioned or human being human being it, okay uh, is a closed loop control system see where we can uh, where we have feedback for the human being we have five sensory organs one is eye another one is ear then third one is your nose which will give you the smell fourth one is your tongue which will give you the test and fifth one is a uh, skin which will give you the touch information so this touch information now where is the control of the human being so where is basically uh, this one feedback element uh, feedback element of human being are five sensory organs okay where is controller controller is in the brain right so all those sensory organs are connected to the brain so all those signals will go to the brain and then uh, it will be compared and then con control action will be taken like for example uh, i have to walk so i have to walk suppose for example uh, 10 meters so definitely distance between that uh, position and present position will be calculated and this will be sensed with the help of my eye and then it will be sent to the brain and then brain will uh, uh, take the um, uh, basically compare it and then take the action and it will give you give the instruction to my legs that okay now you have to walk for 10 meter and so on so open this one human being is a closed loop control system right whereas your traffic control now traffic control can be also designed with the uh, closed loop how by fixing the cameras okay and then uh, depends upon the density of the traffic timing will be changed now presently whatever we see in uh, our city okay uh, all those traffic signals are based on the time so it is not sensing the traffic it is sense okay it is based only on the time for uh, two minutes this red signal will be there two minutes this green will be there and then uh, in between okay uh, uh, other signal will be there but this can be done uh, in a closed loop uh, in what way by 
connecting the uh, this one uh, cameras to all four sides and wherever there is a more traffic so more time will be given to that uh, side and then wherever there is less tra traffic there will be less time so time optimization can be done in case of traffic control system so traffic control system can be designed as a closed loop system uh, by using cameras and so on uh, so i think the, uh, you have understood the difference between the open loop control system and closed loop control system and uh, this one so uh, today we'll stop here so what we have studied we have studied what in by uh, natural control system what is in by uh, man made control system then after that what is open loop and closed loop and then uh, uh, feedback control system and so on so in detail we have taken that uh, difference between the open loop control system and closed loop control system now in our next lecture we'll see the difference between the remaining control systems and so on so today we'll stop here thank you very much